Welcome back to Science with Mrs. Leong. Today we're going to be looking at dissolving solids into liquids. Um, dissolving is when you take one material and you put it into a liquid and if it completely dissolves it actually becomes a solution. It becomes part of that liquid. If it doesn't dissolve it'll usually float on top or float in between but you can definitely see the grains or tiny pieces of the material you're trying to dissolve and if it's not successfully dissolved, it will be called a suspension because it'll just kind of float around inside the liquid. We're gonna get started and we're gonna start with mixing water and Epsom salts. Now, these Epsom salts that we're gonna mix into water are purple and they're very um, big chunks of salt with you know some essential oils mixed in uh, to give it some fragrance. So this one smells like oh, lilac or something along that line. But I'm not so concerned about the smell as to whether this will dissolve completely into my water or if it'll become a suspension and just kind of float around and not fully dissolve in it. For this experiment, we're going to need a little container. We're going to need some water and the Epsom salts. So we're gonna pour some water in here. And we're gonna pour some Epsom salts in here. Now the Epsom salt, I've got 30 milliliters of Epsom salt. These are like the little measured containers that you get um, from the drugstore for medicines when you're not feeling well. So it's got like little measuring lines on it. There you can see the measuring lines. And it there's the milliliters on that side. So basically I'm mixing 30 milliliters of Epsom salt with water. We'll see how that mixes together. So there's my water and there's my Epsom salt going in. Now you can see right away, I am mixing a solid and a liquid together. And the Epsom salt is definitely very heavy. You can see it kind of bubbling up. It's starting to dissolve, um, but it needs a little help. It needs me to maybe do a little bit of stirring, do a little bit of shaking to help it mix up, but you can definitely see it's starting to break apart and bubble to the top. It's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to give it a stir to begin with. Now for my stirring, I'm using something you can find at my house a lot, which is chopsticks. So I'm going to use one chopstick and I'm going to stir my liquid, give it a little bit of help. You can still see there's lots of liquid at the bottom. The color is starting to blend in. Part of it is starting to dissolve, but it's not fully dissolving into the water just yet. I'm going to move from my chopstick to putting the lid on my container and shaking it up and seeing if it'll uh, dissolve better into the liquid with just a little more agitation with me shaking it. You can actually hear it's still very much a solid in there, rattling around, mixing, mixing. Oh, I hear a little less rattling. A little less rattling. Now let's see how our solution is coming along. Well, you can see the top part is a solution, but we still have a whole bunch of Epsom salt in the bottom. So this really hasn't fully dissolved yet. Right now, it would still be called a suspension because there's pieces in there that haven't fully dissolved. Okay, the next item that we're gonna try to dissolve into the water is going to be plain old table salt. So here's my water. Here's my salt. I'm going to pour one into the other. Now you can see the salt has sunk down to the bottom, but it looks like it's doing a little bit of mixing all on its own. Again, we'll try mixing it. My trusty chopstick. See if that helps it mix up. I can still see some greens on the bottom, but it actually is mixing quite nicely. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water. I'm gonna put the lid on my jar. You can still see the greens on the bottom. I'm gonna give it a little bit of shaking and see if I can make a solution, make the solid completely blend into the liquid so I can't see any particles floating around and that would be a solution. So far, I've created a suspension. Most of it dissolved, but you can still see the Epsom salt 
at the bottom. So it's not a fully dissolved item. So I can't really say that it is a solution. But this one, wow, it is fully dissolved. I don't see any crystals sitting at the bottom. This would be a solution. So this is where the solid, the salt, has completely dissolved into the liquid, the water, and there's nothing separate that's floating around. It's changed the color of the water to kind of more murky colored, but there's nothing separate. Everything is blended together. So that would be a solution. Now the next solid we're going to try to dissolve into the water is going to be coffee grounds. Now these are the same coffee grounds that you find in your pods that go into your Keurig. Um, there's my water. Here is my coffee grounds. And I'm going to pour one into the other. Now right away when you look at this, you can see the coffee grounds floating on top of the water. I'm not so sure if these two things are gonna like each other very much, but let's give it a try. First, I'm gonna take my chopstick and see if I can mix it up. Well, some of it is working its way down, but I still do see separate particles floating around. So I'm having a feeling that I'm not gonna be making a solution. I'm gonna end up with a suspension here. Whoa, I really like sticking to my chopstick too. So I'm gonna pull my chopstick out, clean it off the best I can. Put my lid on and see if I can shake this mixture together to make a solution rather than a suspension. Now, ugh, still looks pretty grainy. <laughs> I think I can shake all night long, and I don't think these two things are going to come together as a solution. Ooh, here you have a look. See how it looks like there's, it kind of looks like there's dirt floating around in there. My coffee grounds, ooh, are still just floating around on their own, and I bet if I let this sit overnight, you'd see more of a separation. But even just rolling it around, you can see that the coffee hasn't mixed at all really with the water. It's just gotten wet and kind of sloppy looking, but no, there's no solution there. So that would be a suspension. So today it looks like we have created one solution and a solution again is when a solid completely dissolves into a liquid. So here I don't see any grains of salt by themselves. It looks like it's completely mixed. So that would be a solution. My Epsom salt, maybe if I'd used less, I would have a solution. But this one is a bit of a suspension because it still has crystals that haven't fully dissolved. And this has actually become super saturated. I put way too much Epsom salt in here. Otherwise, I probably would have had more of a solution instead of a suspension. When you super saturate something, you kind of overload it. So literally I put more Epsom salt in here than the water could handle and properly dissolve. So I'm left with a suspension. And then of course this one, it really doesn't matter how much coffee I put in here. I don't think this is ever going to blend together in a solution. So this would be definitely a suspension. And those are our three mixtures.